Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and I hope you're all having a wonderful day and a wonderful Halloween season. If you enjoy this season as much as I do, then you are probably super excited about all of the Halloween builds that have been on YouTube right now. And I have, you know, a few that I've built this season. Well, I've built one this season. Um, I was supposed to build more. Yes, I know. It just, you know, life happens. <laughs> I have been very, very busy. You guys know the spiel. I have said it time and time again. It is what it is. I would have liked to have built more houses for you guys, but I am at least doing the three main occults for Sims. And so I have done a spellcaster house already and that I posted on my channel a couple of weeks ago. So definitely go check that out if you are a fan of spellcasters. And now today we are doing the werewolf build. So we are in the town of Moonwood Mill. And this is not just any like werewolf build. It's not for just one werewolf. This is actually for three three different generations of a werewolf family. So I thought that really fit when it came to werewolves. You know, they only function in packs. Uh, kind of like dogs or how werewolves would be in real life if they, you know, had characteristics of dogs or wolves um they all they run in packs okay and so i figured if there was a big family they would be all in the same house anyways and so i thought that made sense and i also was thinking as i was building this that this is a house that the werewolf family like the main patriarch of this family the grandpa and the dad um they teamed up and built the perfect house for their family. And so I wanted to keep the aesthetic that it was like hand built. And so there is going to be a lot of wood in this build on the outside and the inside. And I kind of thought I would keep the paint to a minimum just because, I mean, I don't feel like werewolves is the type to actually like paint their house. I think they would like to have the wood look, you know? And so I kind of wanted to keep that aesthetic on the inside and outside. And the main part of the house has like the main family, so to speak. And this is like a mother-in-law suite with like its own yard and stuff. It turns out really good, actually. I was really happy with the way that this build turned out. And I started this not knowing at all <laughs> what I was going to do and how I was going to like decorate it and stuff. And so, yeah, just starting off with absolutely no clue and ending up with something that I am really happy with. I did build this in the lot that had the Moonwood Collective house. And so when I went to bulldoze that house, I kind of looked at that aesthetic and I seen that it looks like it was like built. I think it was supposed to have a storyline where uh, the main, um, I forgot the werewolf, but you know, the leader of the Moonwood Collective pack, I believe he was supposed to like build this house and he has his pack members living with him and it's supposed to be almost like a sanctuary for them and so I liked that storyline and so I wanted to kind of have my storyline the same way but instead of it being just a random pack of werewolves that met over time it is a family and so they pretty much stick to themselves they are like very much loners they don't they're not part of the Moonwood Collective, nor are they part of the Wild Fangs, and they are their own pack. <laughs> um, whatever, I didn't really think of like a werewolf pack name, it's just, you know, the wolf family or something, uh, is what I was thinking. And yeah, so the outside of this build is quickly coming together. I wanted to have it kind of on a hilly foundation if that makes sense so the house is actually built up on like a hill like a very tiny hill it's not like a huge hill at all and then it's kind of sloping down when you go towards the mother-in-law suite and I also put this pond right here in the front I really just needed some filler space and so I didn't really know what to put there and then I was like oh we do have pawns in the game now <laughs> I mean they've been in the game for a couple uh, years now and so I figured you know they could go there when they 
aren't hunting for meat, they could fish instead in this pond and so that would keep them fed as well. I thought that was kind of like a good idea. And I'm also placing trees literally everywhere on this lot. Like I want this to look like it's very much in the woods and not like right out in the open. I feel like werewolves would definitely be out in the woods, like the middle of the woods. They don't want to be seen by normal sims. I mean, Moonwood Mill in general is out in the woods, but this house I wanted to be kind of in the woods as well and not take too many trees out. And so there is plenty of trees everywhere. And that also had me very easily be able to fill up the lot. It's kind of a big lot. I think it's, is it 30 by 40 or 50 by 40? It's, it's something, I think it's 50 by 40. It is not a small lot whatsoever. <laughs> and so I was a little bit intimidated by that at first, but as I was building it quickly came together. And so I was really happy about it. So right now you can see me kind of messing with the terrain and trying to smooth it all out. I don't want it to be like super uneven hilly and it looks like bad. I wanted it to be nice and smooth like that's how it naturally was. And then I have the terrain paint that makes it look like it's just dirt. And I actually changed that towards the end into, it's like dirt mixed with pebbles and stuff. And here I am deciding to go ahead and give the mother-in-law suite their own like yard and I'm calling it a mother-in-law suite but actually grandma wolf is no longer with this family um they don't like to talk about how she had her life end um it has to do with Greg and so yeah they just don't like to talk about it they have a lot of beef with Greg they don't get along with him whatsoever they're on a mission to get him to go away if you catch my drift. So uh, grandma, you'll see here in a little bit, you'll see once I start the actual backyard of, I guess I should call it the father-in-law suite. There's actually a grave for grandma and it, it's actually kind of cute. So I'm looking forward to you guys seeing that. Um, and then I have that little father-in-law suite. It's very much like a grandpa wolf lives there. I wanted to keep that aesthetic and it looks really good. Like, I know I've said it already, but I am like really proud of how this build turned out. If I was one to play with werewolves again, which, you know, I'm never going to say never, you know, but I don't have any like plans on playing it soon. Uh, I think I am going to play on Halloween this year because of the new pack that's coming out. That looks so fun um, that there's actually like a Grim Reaper career coming out and stuff. I'm definitely going to play that. I'm definitely going to be building like builds for that. I'm probably just going to skip create a sim this time. It's, it's not something that does super well on my channel. And so I don't see myself really continuing the create a sim unless like I really love the create a sim of a pack and then I'm probably going to, you know, do it. But as of right now for this coming up, it doesn't look like that great and unique of a create a sim. So there's really not any need for me to do that. I'm definitely going to do build though. So stay tuned for that for next week is probably when I'm going to be posting the new pack builds that I do. And I think this comes with funerals, I believe. And so that is super fun. I think that's the first of the Sim series, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if there has been funerals in the Sims already, then let me know which Sims game had funerals because I used to be an avid Sims 2 player and I know for a fact Sims 2 did not. And I am pretty sure Sims 1 didn't either. I mean, they had like slim pickings back in those days. So Sims 3, did they have a funeral pack? I don't think they did. Definitely not like a pack. If there was funerals, it would have been into some other pack that really I can't think of. <laughs> so let me know. But I think this is the first for the Sims. So that's super exciting. And from what I have seen on the trailer, it looks super cute and super fun. Now, keep in mind that I have not actually watched the newest gameplay trailer or even the dev live stream. I am pretty much going to come into this very blind. <laughs> I used to watch every single, you know, trailer that came out. I used to watch the dev live stream. I used to watch all of the 
new early release videos for the game changers that came out on YouTube and I just haven't found myself doing that. I actually found by doing that that I already learned so much about the pack that by the time it comes out I feel like nothing is new. And so that is the main reason why I changed the way I do that. I like to completely explore the pack on my own without having any outside opinions or outside information told to me before I actually get my hands on the pack myself, if that makes sense. But yeah, I mean, it, it looks super cute, super fun. The only thing that I wish is that they had to come out a little bit before Halloween so that there was plenty of the season left to actually post videos and enjoy it before people are already focusing on Thanksgiving and Christmas. I mean, I totally get why they decided on a Halloween release date. It makes sense, right? And, uh, but yeah. With that being said, I do wish it came out a little bit sooner just so people could enjoy it while it's still the Halloween season. But you know, this is a pack that you can enjoy year round for sure. Like the funerals are something that we are going to be playing with all of the time in our games. I mean, Sims die, you know? And now it's not going to feel so empty and like useless I don't know if useless is the right word but you know when your sim dies that's it like you have to pretend to have like a memorial service or just your sim dies and you forget about them but now I feel like you can actually your sims can say goodbye to their family members just like we do in real life and so that's gonna be super duper fun it's going to be a game changer I feel like for sure I mean it's something that's not going to be a one-time play and then done like expansion packs typically for the sims 4 is that way it's like you play it one time and then you pretty much experienced everything there is to experience and it's kind of boring to play it from then on this i am it's more like seasons this one is so seasons you play it all the time it's definitely an expansion of the game in general and you'll never get tired of it like you are always going to love the change of seasons and it's very realistic and so but with that being said when it comes to mount Komorebi and the snowy escape pack i feel like that pack isn't really an expansion of the game it's more of a one and done expansion pack so this i am happy with the fact that this isn't going to be a one and done like your funerals you're going to be doing all the time but uh yeah anyways <laughs> um right now i am pretty much placing furniture throughout the house to kind of plan where i'm going to have what at and how many bedrooms how many sims and i'm trying to think so there's oh here's grandma's tombstone so i pulled it out of debug hopefully it shows up for you guys when you download this off the gallery if it doesn't then you totally could just place one there yourself and i also put that uh fish i forgot what fish that's called like moonlight fish or something like that it comes in this werewolf pack and I thought it made sense that you know grandpa went out there to the pond he caught himself a fish and it's right there on the sink ready for him to you know cut up and eat later that's kind of my point of view or my thought when placing it there and then it's a very small kitchen in this part of the house but you know that that's pretty typical for a mother-in-law father-in-law suite and he's not going to do a whole lot of cooking anyways he's a werewolf like he will literally take that fish right there and probably bite it without even descaling it <laughs> and so i wanted to put this uh like beat up couch in here i thought that made sense he pretty much just grabbed it off the side of the road you know grandpa does not care it's something to sit on and he really likes the old grungy aesthetic anyways and these curtains i don't use very often the blue the brown and the green combo but it matched perfectly in here and something else that i have done in this build is put those lanterns in a lot of different places in this build in general i figured yeah they do have lights fixtures on top of their ceiling and then like the table lamps and the standing lamp and stuff but I figured it would make sense to have the lantern so that they could actually grab it and carry it around especially at night and I thought it was a cute thing and then I put 
uh, some fireplaces on both parts of this build. So there's one in the father-in-law suite here and there's one in the main part of the house as well. I kind of figured they wouldn't have central heating or air conditioning in this house since it's like, you know, built by their bare hands, literally. Um, I thought it made sense that they don't have like central heat at least. And so I ended up putting the fireplace. Now, if you don't have seasons, it's really not gonna matter. <laughs> um, they don't need, you know, heat or anything that won't snow. But if you do have seasons, I think it snows here in Moonwood Mill, right? I don't re yeah, it does. I remember um, playing when it first came out and it's snowing here. So that definitely is something that will be interesting. So if you don't put the thermostat in here, if you have seasons, then they pretty much don't have the central heat or air conditioning. And so that is when the fireplace will come in handy. Now, when it gets super duper hot, they don't have AC, so that's a whole different story. You'll just have to make them wear their uh, hot weather clothing indoors. <laughs> and if you see, and I actually also put like a punch in the wall, so I kind of figured grandpa is very, very rageful. Like he's very hot headed. And um, so when he gets mad, what he does is punches the wall. And so that is why part of his wall is tore up. And he also goes on rampages a lot. So he is not one of those werewolves where they get their temper under control. He loves going on the rampages. So he does it every single full moon and really honestly he likes to do it even when it's not a full moon he just likes to be mad <laughs> and so i thought it kind of fit to have like the punch in the wall and something there, so. else about this family they are very much into gardening now werewolves if you've played with them it's been a while since i played with them so if this is incorrect information please forgive me but i do believe that they don't like to eat like vegetables and stuff i mean they might eat it but i think they prefer meat okay and so i have a bunch of gardening stuff around here and they actually really enjoy gardening especially grandpa he has his own garden and then the mom of this house likes to garden as well and they just like to garden like flowers. They don't actually do vegetables and herbs and stuff. They're more so like doing it for the flowers and that's how they make their money is selling the flowers. And so what I actually did was pull some like perfect quality flowers off of the gallery and then I just placed them in the planter boxes. I thought, you know, that makes sense. I really wanted the thought and the aesthetic that grandpa's an avid gardener and he takes a lot of time in his garden like he's in there every single day and oh and i also put that picture of the vampire right there and i kind of thought that was a good idea because werewolves apparently hate vampires and vice versa and it gives it a lot of like twilight aesthetic <laughs> um that's probably where they were getting the idea from was Twilight but I thought it makes a lot of sense for werewolves and vampires not to get along and I don't think they like spellcasters either but um yeah so I'm just placing around a lot of bushes so there's not going to be much flowers in this build it's going to be a lot of bushes but I do bring out like the white hydrangeas and I place them everywhere in this build as well and so there are going to be some flowers but I tried to keep it mainly like a lot of like green landscaping and stuff and i also pulled out a sim like head fossil stone or fossil uh yeah the sim head fossil and i put it on the kitchen counter i thought that was pretty interesting i figured maybe grandpa back in the day was really mean and he really didn't like regular sims and yeah that is one of the sims he he took out and so he kept it as like a souvenir you know and so I just put it there on the kitchen counter. He likes to look at it every now and then, which, you know, sounds morbid, but he's a werewolf. What do you expect? And so, yeah, I'm placing a bunch of landscaping around the pond as well. I want it to look really overgrown. Like they don't do a lot of landscaping and they do that um, on purpose. Like this is their preferred landscape look is just stuff everywhere. And I really wanted to put that dang woohoo bush somewhere. And I think I finally decided on where to put it and that's back there in the corner. I figured, you know, they're werewolves. They are like 
animals. They are wild animals and wild animals, what do they do? They woohoo in bushes. <laughs> and so I really wanted to put that somewhere. And here I am pulling out some of the hydrangeas. So not a lot of color and I did that purposely. I did not want this to look like rainbow whatsoever. It definitely looks natural and that is the look I was going for. <laughs> Nothing, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no organization of anything when it comes to the landscaping. So just keep that in mind. If it looks like it doesn't make any sense, it's done purposely. <laughs> um, so yeah, this pretty much is coming to a close. Now I'm pretty much getting everything where I want it to be. This is where grandma's resting place is. I put my ideas back and forth. I did not know exactly where I wanted to put grandma at, but I definitely wanted her to be in the backyard in grandpa's backyard. And I also thought it was a really cute idea to not put like just flowers there in a vase, but I put the special flower for Moonwood Mill right there. I can't remember what that flower is called, but it blooms only on full moons, I think. And I thought that was like a really cute idea. I mean, she's a werewolf. And so that makes the most sense. And then I put a lantern there as well. And that was me just putting a close up there just to see what it looked like. But I kind of thought that grandpa came out like every single night and he, he just reminisces the good old days with grandma and he just cusses out Greg every time. And he says, I will get you one day, Greg. Um, just wait for it. It'll be when you least expect it. Uh, so yeah, grandpa, grandpa's very, very hateful when it comes to Greg. Like he will never forgive Greg. Greg is like the worst creature ever. Um, I know that grandma's not the only victim of Greg. There has been a lot of victims of him. And I, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, his name is Greg, right? <laughs> Greg like Lunavik or something? Okay, I did just look it up and it is in fact Greg. So I had that part correct. <laughs> And yeah, there's, there's a lot of werewolves that cannot stand Greg and Greg has no friends. He prefers to be a loner. And so any Sam that goes across his territory, he will fight to the death. Like there is no mercy when it comes to him. And that is exactly what grandpa is going to do. Before grandpa passes away, he will make sure he takes Greg out. And he honestly, if, if grandpa is on his way out already, he will take Greg with him. So Greg, he better watch out. And yeah, so what I ended up doing, you've seen the transition. I ended up pulling the plants off of the gallery, like the perfect style plants. And I put them out there into his garden and it's all flowers and it's a lot of expensive flowers. And I also put the death flower out there as well. I thought that made sense. Maybe, you know, you never know. He might befriend Greg and then take him out with the death flower. Like he might make something that kills him you know uh keep your friends close and your enemies closer is what i always say and so now i am trying to place this bonfire somewhere i had a little bit of trouble where i wanted to put this bonfire but i knew i wanted to put it somewhere that's something that these werewolves like to do is have this big old bonfire and they like to like dance around it there's like a werewolf dance that they do and i think it's super cute <laughs> and um i don't know if it's supposed to be cute i think it's supposed to be like you know like really cool and like metal and stuff but I I think it's cute and so I finally decided where to put it and it's not this spot that it's in it's to the left a little bit and I changed the backyard a little bit so I wanted to put these planter boxes out but there was like no space and so I had an idea of taking these trees out and I was going to do a tree house. I thought that made a lot of sense, but I do a lot of tree houses. I'm kind of tired of making tree houses. And so I thought what a better idea would be is to make it like, um, it goes down into a basement. And so I thought that made a lot of sense. And I put, um, it's wood right now, but I also, later end up making it into brick and I kind of thought you know this could be like their doomsday bunker sort of thing but it right now it's just decorated into like a little hangout area for the teen wolf and their friends and then I also put like a little gym down here where they use that to like work out and stuff so I don't actually decorate this 
uh, like basement until later in the build. I think it's like the last thing that I actually do. But um, a little bit of a spoiler, the basement for like the teen hangout area, it, I kind of was going for like that so 70 vibes. Uh, if you know, you know. Uh, the teen is very free spirited and they actually love to paint. And so, yeah, uh, you can use your imagination for what exactly they do down there in the basement. Uh, they partake in some activities, if you know what I mean. And no, that is not part of the Sims packs in general. <laughs> uh, but there are uh, mods that you can download and it has been a while since I've downloaded like the mods where like your sims can you know partake in certain activities and I forget what the mod is actually called so I cannot provide that information but I mean a quick google search you would definitely be able to find it and maybe one of my subscribers would be able to comment down below what that mod is actually called. It's really fun to play with the mod and you can also grow your own like stuff. You can cultivate your own stuff. And so that is something that could, they could do in their garden. So it actually definitely makes sense for this build. And like I said, there's also like an area down in the garage or the basement that has like workout equipment and their own personal gym. Like I put like two, maybe three of like the weight machines and then a couple treadmills and stuff. And it actually is in two different areas down there. So there's like the hangout room where all of, you know, the activities happen. And then there's like a door that leads to a hallway that leads to like the gym area. And I thought it was a, a really fun idea. And I also almost ended up putting another area down there um, I wanted like three different rooms like two hallways leading to different directions and stuff but I couldn't think of the other room like what I wanted the other room to be and this video is already so long as it is like I have it on like the highest speed that I like to put it at that is actually like comfortable to watch and so and it's still like 47 minutes long and so I just had to end it at some point. So I really would have liked to put a third room down in the basement, but it just didn't happen. But if you choose to put like a different room, maybe you have the Strangerville pack or something and you have like some bunker looking items, maybe you could make a third room and that's like their actual like bunker room, you know? So if like some stuff was to happen, maybe human Sims come to Moonwood Mill trying to scare off all of the werewolves and like you know make them go away if you know what i mean then they could go down into their little bunker and hide away until the sims leave and i mean that's just like one storyline you know so like there there's always a use for a little bunker room like even real life too like i would love to have a basement and make that like my my hideaway bunker area that's something i've always wanted to do but living in florida I don't know a single person that has a basement in Florida. I mean, I'm sure there's someone somewhere that has one, but I don't know of anyone. So can't really say if I'm ever going to be able to buy a house with a bunker or even build one because, you know, here in Florida, we have a lot of flooding and yeah, uh, basements don't do very good in Florida, <laughs> especially in Tampa, like area where I'm from. It doesn't do a lot of good to have basements here. Like this past hurricane that just came ended up hitting as a category three, but a really strong category three. And we had some flooding. We had a lot of flooding with Hurricane Helene that came before Milton. And there was a lot of flooding here in Tampa. And then Hurricane Milton brought the winds. And so there was a lot of like fallen trees and stuff. So yeah, with that being said, it's really not a good idea to even have basements in Florida, which is a sad thing. Like I, like I said, I've always wanted one. I always wanted like a bug out room sort of thing. <laughs> not that I'm a conspiracy theorist or anything. That's just something, you know, who wouldn't want like a basement that they could you know, have like a really cool hangout room like that 70s show or have like their own like bunker space just in case things hit the fan. You know, you never know what can happen. But uh, yeah, so we pretty much have the outside done for the most part. Towards the end of the build, I do end up putting 
the uh what's it called like the hard the wood working bench i end up putting that on the outside since i have the storyline of them making this house from the ground up from scratch with their bare hands i figured they could have they need to have like a wood working bench and so i end up putting that outside and then i put some like wood pieces on top of it just to make it look like it's very used and there's a lot of random stuff scattered throughout the yard and i thought that made sense for werewolves and stuff and there's a lot of like little knickknacks and pictures on the walls and different things inside as well and I definitely wanted to just keep the aesthetic of werewolves and I think I did a really good job of that I mean as you guys can see there's a lot of wood just like I said in the beginning of this video it is like mainly wood all of the walls are wood I didn't paint any of the walls regular like colors there are this panel wall that has like white and blue and green and stuff but I wanted to I don't know I just feel like werewolves would prefer the wood look like they don't want the paint and stuff it's very like natural looking in here and I really wanted to keep that like aesthetic and I really enjoy it as well and then I ended up pulling out these like um like tiles or stone pieces or something so there are tiles or linoleum that come with the werewolf pack but it's very like too grungy looking like it looks like it was put down 50 years ago and was never redone <laughs> and so that was a little bit too much I wanted this to look like it was freshly built obviously and so I ended up putting those stones down instead it looks like you know they've gathered rocks maybe or stones from different like colors and stuff and then they put it together on the ground and maybe for the grout they ended up using like mud or like clay uh, we don't have clay here in Florida, I don't believe. I've never, like, seen it. But when I used to live in Tennessee, there was, like, that's the ground that they had. Like, they had clay instead of, like, sand. We have sand here in Florida. The dirt's very sandy. But up in Tennessee, the dirt's very clay-like. And so that is kind of what I was thinking. They could get, like, clay somewhere and make their own clay or whatever and use that as the grout in between the tile and stuff. I mean, I'm going really into depth of the storyline here, um, but that's just what I was thinking as I was building this build. Like, I had a lot of fun with this build. A lot more fun than I thought I would have. Like, I'm not a huge werewolf type of, like, Sims player, but yeah this house was just it's something totally different than i'm used to building i've built a werewolf house like one time personally um without like actually doing it on like camera and stuff and like recording myself i built like one or two houses when the werewolf pack first came out before i even started my youtube channel and i haven't done it since so this is the first werewolf build i've actually done on my channel in general and yeah like it was a lot of fun and looking back at it, I think it looks really good. And I really hope you guys think the same thing. Um, if you are interested in downloading this build, it is actually on my gallery. So my gallery is the Clumsy Simmer. There is no spaces or anything. I have it linked on like my profile, my YouTube profile. So you could go to like my main page and click the link and it'll bring you there. It will just bring you not, it'll do like the website version. It won't be the actual like gallery in the sims game if that makes sense it is the gallery it's just the website version so um if you want to just click that link and you could probably i think download it i'm not sure how you download it if you just click download it's automatically in your game when you go into your game or if you have to like extract the file and put it in your like downloads or your mods folder i'm not sure how that works I, I want to say you just click download and it's just in your game, but the easiest way to do it is just to go on the gallery in game and type in the Clumsy Simmer and I will pop up. I mean, I have quite a bit of like different builds on the gallery, so you'll see. I mean, I have the same picture on my gallery as I have on YouTube, so I'm very easy to find on the gallery. And if you have any trouble whatsoever, just let me know and I'll try my best to help you out if, uh, if possible. 
I also make a lot of like Sims. I might not record every time I do Sims, but I make a lot of Sims and casts, and so I do I put those on my gallery, and so they're there to download as well. Um, I have like so many different things. I have like rooms, I have houses obviously, I have the Sims, lots of different things to choose from. So definitely go take a look at my gallery. It's worth a look, okay? It's, it's, uh, I have a lot of stuff on there. Like more stuff than that is on my YouTube. I haven't, I didn't start YouTube until like literally a seven, maybe eight months ago. And so I only have like a few things on my YouTube channel compared to my gallery, which I started downloading or I, I started uploading things on my gallery probably in like 2019-ish, 2020-ish. And so yeah, I have like hundreds of things on my gallery. So definitely go check it out and follow me on the gallery as well. Sometimes I'll post like, like I said, I'll post Sims there if I don't put it on my YouTube. So sometimes there's things that don't make it on my channel there on my gallery and so yeah it's it's worth a look and it's worth a follow so thank you to those who have followed me on the gallery as already and thank you to those that, that have subscribed to my channel as well here on youtube like i really appreciate it and i have a lot of fun interacting with you guys in the comments as well so don't be shy you know introduce yourself down in the comments below and tell me a little bit about yourself tell me what your favorite part of this build is or the favorite style of build that you have and and if it's something that I'm not used to doing, I'm not against trying new things out. And so I am very much willing to take suggestions and different like build ideas. So yeah, definitely leave a comment down below. Introduce yourself. Tell me if you're from the gallery or if you just found me here on YouTube. I'm really interested and I am looking forward to seeing some comments down below. So now we are actually in the teenager's room. So like I said, she is a free spirited Sim. Um, she is a werewolf, obviously. And so there's a lot of candles around her room. I put a easel in here. She's really into painting. I am putting a lot of like little knickknacky sort of things on her like dresser right here just to fill up space. And I kind of figured she, since she's free spirited, she'd like a lot of like knickknack stuff. And I went into the werewolf's pack and tried to just pull out as much stuff as I could from that pack. And so it might be kind of like random stuff, like that mushroom sort of thing right there. But I thought it was super cute. And then I put that really cute moon mirror on the wall. Like that is like my favorite mirror in the game, I think. I just think it's so cute. Like I would love to have one of those in real life, to be honest. And then it has like the shelves attached with the mirrors. It looks like really just cute. And now I'm just putting different like curtains around the room and these decals that I have on the walls. I kind of had the idea that she colored those herself. Like she's really artistic, really creative. And so I wanted to bring that alive in her room. And I hope I achieved that. Um, I think it looks really, really cute in her room. It looks looks like an artist's room would be. And so this is actually the parent's room. And it's, you know, it's a room. So I ended up putting a nursery in here, not a nursery, but like uh, the little bassinet, they just had a baby. And so I put a bassinet in here as well. And I think there's a spare bedroom that you can make into the baby's room, if I'm not mistaken. If not, then you could totally just make the baby, once it turns into an infant, share a room with the child that lives in this house. There's actually two children and I figured they're twins. So I didn't really go into like this type of Sims that live in this house. So there is two parents parents there is the teenager there's two children who are twins there's a toddler there's the new baby newborn and then there is grandpa that lives here so there this is like an eight sim household now you don't have to have grandpa werewolf or any of the sims that i mentioned you could totally have your own family live here and you can just redecorate or do whatever you want but i just kind of figured i was trying to think of different sims to fill the rooms up basically and so i pretty much stuck with one sim of each like category just so i could have different uh 
different rooms to do and different age groups to put in those rooms and this toddler's room i think it turned out really cute i'm not even gonna lie it's very like i put that moon carpet in there i thought that fit for werewolf and then very like blue and purplish and i thought it turned out super cute and now this is one of the children's rooms so i tried to keep each of the children to have like their own personality and so one of the rooms is very blue and then the other room is like kind of like you know neutral color um a little bit of purple accents maybe and i figured one could be a boy and one could be a girl maybe but you could put like both genders in both of these rooms i think they're pretty gender neutral for the most part so uh yeah this room right here is pretty colorful actually um i kind of figured these twins have like different personalities and so i try to bring that into the room and so this is very like bright and colorful and um like a happy-go-lucky type of werewolf kid and then the other one i tried to keep it more like i said like neutral and they aren't super like outgoing and colorful like their other twin is they're more mysterious if that makes sense and i figured these these werewolf kids are homeschooled and so i kind of just put like books there and stuff i don't see these kids going to like a public school i kind of feel like werewolves would be homeschooled they're not really they don't need to function in a sim society so it makes kind of no sense for them to go to like a regular school you know i say that and then here i am putting like some lunch boxes out but you know if they're homeschooled they still need to eat lunch and stuff they could still totally use those lunch boxes and um so yeah, I mean, I don't think you can really homeschool your, your kids in The Sims. I think they have to go to public school, but that would be like a cute thing for The Sims team to do is to like, up. I don't think we need a whole pack for it, but maybe just update the base game and have it to where they could like be homeschooled. Like maybe they could just do stuff on the computer. That's something that's really common nowadays is just for sims or ki not sims but kids in real life you know to be homeschooled quote unquote at home and they just do online school basically and so you know they totally should like update the game and add that in the sims i think that would be really realistic and really awesome too then your sims wouldn't have to like be sent to school <laughs> they could just like do their school work on the computer during the day i think that'd be a really fun touch but uh yeah so we are pretty much nearing the end we're not far so i am adding some additional chairs by this bonfire i thought it made more sense to have some more seating down here and so like pretty much when they do the bonfire they pretty much stand anyways but i figured if they have like a big bonfire party with their pack that they're gonna want like some place to sit down eventually and eat like their raw meat and stuff so and it was just like filler space also and i stuck with like wood chairs as well just to keep the whole aesthetic and vibe of hand built here at the house you know um everything's hand built here and a lot of their items like these mirrors they just picked up from the side of the road you know um they go shopping at the neighborhoods in like willow creek and stuff and they get all of like the hand-me-down old furniture that the actual human sims like leave out and stuff i i don't know um but now i am like doing the gym area and i'm doing these mirrors i'm trying to make it you know where like they're punching that like punching bag and stuff and they can see themselves and their form and i thought that makes sense and I put like three of the weightlifting things and then one of the treadmills. They don't really need the treadmills. They do plenty of running around Moonwood Mill anyway, so they really don't need the treadmill, but I needed something to put there. And then I put like three different rugs down just to make it look nice and filled. And then I put a stereo in here as well. And now I'm just pa place placing. <laughs> I'm placing 
different posters around the walls just to fill up some space and here I am adding like an additional little hallway area and this is where I was going to do the third room at but that's going to end up going away I had no idea what I wanted to put in that room and so I end up just yeah taking it away and here is the hangout area for the teenager or I mean you could have the whole family just hang out down here but there's so many TVs and hangout areas in the house that the adults can have that I think it makes the most sense to have this like a teenage haven sort of thing and so I put a lot of like grungy furniture down here just like grandpa's house and then I'm putting like the woodworking stuff and I mean they do a lot of woodworking here and so like different decorations are like handmade decorations I put different like plants and stuff trying to make it look very grungy style like a teenager would like literally spend most of their time in here then I put a computer of course and lots of different posters keep in mind this teen is like an artist and so I figured like it would make sense to have posters and that big giant wall of the newspapers and yeah and then I put a bunch of rugs in here as well and of course I put a computer you can never have too many computers even if they're werewolves they still need the internet and I also oh yeah so I moved the mirror from the gym to this area instead I thought it made a lot more sense and then I also end up putting a couple of like guitars there in the corner I needed something to put in the corner and I thought that would be like a really fun touch like the teenagers could like have band practice down here or something and yeah so now we are definitely nearing the end so I really hope you enjoyed this build if you did then leave a like it helps the algorithm kick it to other simmers just like you and me and other people can enjoy it as well and it helps my channel grow I would really appreciate it and of course subscribe if you have not already and with all that being said I hope you all have an amazing day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one very soon I have a vampire build coming out on Halloween day I usually do Fridays only um, Mondays and Fridays is when I post my videos but since Halloween is on Thursday I don't want to post my vampire house after Halloween so yeah it will be out on Thursday this week instead so I will see you all on Thursday and I hope you have a wonderful night and week and I will see you all next time bye guys